In this lesson, I'd like to look at email configuration. And you can see that I'm currently looking at an opportunity for a 120 user expense system. I'm logged on as a user called Susan May. And I can see that on this screen that I've got uh, the ability to uh, click on a hyperlink uh, that will call up uh, the email client. Now, actually, I can call an email in a couple of ways. For example, if I look here at my communications tab, um, I will have a new email button, and within the menu there will also be... Now, if I choose to send a new email to uh, the uh, person, Simon Yaltoy, uh, associated with this uh, opportunity, then I can do so just by clicking on the hyperlink, and what we see is the internal email client opens up. Now this is because the system is configured to use the internal email client and we'll look at the screens uh, in a moment that uh, will allow us to change that configuration. But here you can see that I'm choosing uh, to use a particular template and this template is demonstrating the fact that uh, our emails that we send from within the system can include attachments uh, either in the form of a basic file attachment or an inline graphic and we can see that uh, uh, this, this particular uh, email has got an inline graphic uh, associated with it. And what is on the screen is what is going to be recorded with inside CRM. And, you, and, and let's just click that. I, I click to send the email, and uh, we can see that the communication uh, has been sent out. Now, if I send that again, I'm going to uh, choose to uh, send this once more. Uh, and this time, uh, you can see that uh, I'm choosing again the same template. Now, it's important to realize that when I'm, I'm looking currently at uh, text uh, that has been uh, created by the template, uh, if I uh, type in some additional words here and uh, I then click send, what happens is that that text of the email is in my current configuration going to be recorded into uh, the communication that is stored inside CRM. So that extra text that I've written is what has been recorded. You can see that uh, here we'll have the two communications. The settings for this, these are all found inside the administration screen. We can see here if I log on to CRM as an administrative user, I'm logged on as a system administrator and uh, I'm going to go into the administration screens and I'm going to go into email and documents and I'm going to look at email configuration. And you can see here then uh, this is where we start to decide whether or not we want to use the uh, email embedded uh, editor um, or rather the CRM's embedded email editor. If, if you're wondering sort of what would that behave like um, if you're not going to use that, well, actually there are two things that you need to uh, be aware of. The first thing is that you'd have to um, think, well, why, why do I want to not use the embedded email editor? Perhaps because I'm using, um, I want to send using um, a, another form of uh, email client, maybe I'm using Gmail, or perhaps I want to send an email and I want other processes to take place. I want to be able to um, process this by the mail manager. Now the mail manager is a feature of CRM which will be discussed in another lesson, but you can see here that you've got this choice of uh, uh, of sending out uh, directly, in which case uh, the uh, filing of emails would take place by the mail manager and you would copy the mail manager uh, with inside uh, the, uh, any emails that you sent. And here you can see that I'm looking now uh, at another system of CRM uh, and I'm just about to click on uh, the email address. In this case I'm not using the internal email client. What's happening is that I'm actually sending uh, using uh, Outlook. So it's, it's just essentially it's converted the, the links into uh, uh, mail to. But what you see very clearly here is that I don't get the option to use any of the internal CRM templates. 
and if you want CRM to have a record of the communications that you were sent, then you do need to have CRM filing this using the, the mail manager. And as I said, the mail manager will be discussed in a, a later lesson. If we look at the options that we've got here, um, sending using Outlook is something that we can turn on or off if we want to have that ability. Uh, it's very useful for Outlook users to be able to see the uh, outbound email uh, within their uh, uh, sent items, but of course uh, there can arise a difference between uh, what uh, was sent from within inside CRM and CRM thinks has been sent, but uh, the email can be then changed with inside Outlook. So you don't get a true uh, necessarily picture uh, if you are sending uh, uh, through Outlook. Uh, you've got the ability as well, if we can see if I click on the change button here, to send the email using internal SMTP or CDONS uh, CDO SIS. Uh, CDO SIS uh, is really the, uh, the the system that we're talking about. It's integrated within uh, the libraries of IIS. If you're using internal SMTP uh, for routing to your mail server, which happens to be Exchange, then you may want to have a look at the uh, connectors uh, in order to uh, make sure that's configured correctly within Exchange. Uh, you can uh, see that there are other areas that are that are controlled with this screen, uh, which includes uh, the not only the uh, the identification of the mail server that's going to be used and the port that's going to be used, but also see that we can support the idea of authenticated uh, SMTP, and it is uh, it, it is going to use the idea that the uh, the sender of the email, so when a user like Susan May sends an email, it is coming from Susan May's account uh, with inside uh, that server. And so by necessity, uh, that sender would have to have permission on the account, uh, on the server as well to be able to route the, um, to route the messages. The SMS information that you see here uh, we'll be covering in a later lesson. I'm looking here at an email configuration screen uh, and if I look at an email management screen you can see uh, we have this question about using TLS. So TLS, Transport Layer Security, is a successor to um, SSL, Secure Sockets Layer, and TLS provides all of the uh, privacy and data integrity between two com connecting or communicating com uh, applications. It, it, it's encrypted, it's secured, and it's all about preventing messages like emails from being intercepted as they're sent between a client and a server. Well, that just about wraps up uh, what I wanted to cover. We, sh we should now understand uh, how uh, we can control the way in which the, the sending of the emails takes place.